Page 12, Get Ready Rock. Well, this looks simple enough, but the rhythm gets a little tricky, so let's just take this slow and easy. I look it over, it's a page long, treble and bass clef signs again. One flat in the key signature, we're still in the key of F major, all the B's are flat, B flat automatically. I have four four time signature, and I see a whole bunch of quarter notes all over everywhere, and a few dotted half notes. But coordinating the hands is going to be a trick here. Now most of the time it's just one hand or the other playing, so I'm going to go ahead and take both hands together to shorten the video. But make sure you can play each hand alone well, because we have some tricky rhythms to coordinate the hands together. So the left hand starting with thumb on middle C, and then put your hand here. And the right hand has a little finger on that C, so we're still in F position. Don't forget the B flats. And it's one, The F is tied, you're just hanging on to it. But the left hand plays on one, two, three, four. So the last two measures of the first line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Both hands rest on beat four. Second line is the same thing, but you have A flats in here. Just uh, third finger's on A, so I'm going to use that on the A flat. Here. Same thing here, third finger. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, rest. The third line is the same as the first, and then the last line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. See, both hands are tied there. You're going to, on beat one of the last measure, you're just holding it down. And then the left hand plays on beat two while the left hand holds it down. So the last two measures of the last line. One, two, three, four, one, two. And if that's throwing you, it's like I'm just not getting it. Pretend the ties are not there and just play all the notes for the last two measures. Because that's what it is. But then once you sort of understand that, then put the ties back in. You're just hanging on to the note rather than playing it again. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, that's all it is. Anytime tied notes are causing you problems, then temporarily take out the tie and play all the notes and see if you can get that okay. And then once you have that okay, then put the tie back in. Now once I have the notes and the rhythms worked out in the hands, then I go back over it slowly and carefully and get rid of the hesitations. And then I'll think about the articulation. Well, we slurs here, connect these. Lift up, just like, like taking a breath. And then the, this is staccato. I'm hinging at the wrist, boom, boom. Again, the rhythm, because sometimes when you put in the articulation, it messes things up. The last two measures of the first line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the right hand comes up on beat four. The left hand's already done. Up. And then the second line's almost the same. Third line's the same as the first. And the last line you have here. Go ahead and lift up. And that's staccato. On these slurs, the last note is not staccato. No, hold it out. You're just lifting up a little bit early because you're not connecting them. If you connect them, the tans together, that, I'm suggesting lift up a little earlier so you don't connect them. So put in the articulation, and then I the uh, dynamics. They give you an F at the beginning. It's the only dynamic it gets loud. Forte, for whatever you think loud. I guess rock music is loud, but don't get carried away. It's not super loud. It's just loud. Uh, 
on these chords, I would bring them down a little bit, sort of soft on these. I want to hear that, that. That's melody. Yeah, the whole thing is loud, basically, except the chords, I'd, I'd keep them down. Now the last two measures, the melody's really in the right hand. But then you get an oh no at the end, where you have the backup singers get to do oh no. While the melody, that's still it. This, you can bring this out a little bit if you want, but I still don't drown this out. I want to hear that F all the way through. Then the speed, well, fast rock beat, it has to be accurate. So what can you do accurately? Don't go faster than that. The quarter notes are even, the, the, the beat, the, everything's in place. huh? Whatever you feel your fast rock beat is accurately. Remember the natural accents? One, two, three, four. One, two. Feel these all the way through as you're doing this. That's my beat for now. Having a couple cups of coffee later, it could change a lot. Who knows? I play it by feel. Get into the music, feel it, have fun with it. When you feel you have the notes and the rhythms okay, no hesitations, and come back to the video and let's play this together very slowly to check the notes and the rhythms. I'm going to do the staccatos and stuff, and it's all basically loud. I'm just going to play it. I'm not going to worry about playing it loud. I'm just going to play the notes. We're just checking notes and rhythms. We're not performing it. I'll give us four counts. One, two, ready, go. rest.